Hey everyone, welcome to the start of chapter three. We're gonna start talking about chemical bonding and how this ties into atoms creating compounds, which is what we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. And these are in your body, all around you, in the atmosphere even, uh, how these atoms come together and form larger units that we call compounds. And there are four standards for this chapter, and we're going to start by doing none of them. We're going to actually go back and take a look at review from chapter two, when we looked at the structure of atoms. So you might be watching this and thinking, I don't need review. Go ahead and stop and you can skip on. Remember the atoms are made, well, let's do this in blue to start with. Atoms are made of three things. We've got protons, that's an R, protons, let me shift my tablet, neutrons, and electrons. Okay, these are just the basic parts of the atom. And in the last chapter, we talked about protons and neutrons a lot. We didn't talk a whole lot about electrons, and that's what we're going to focus on now in the bonding, is because electrons are what allow atoms to combine in different ways. Now, the charge, that's going to be this left side arrow. We'll do this in red. Okay, and so it'll be the left side for each of these. The charge of a proton is positive. The charge of a neutron is neutral and an electron is negative. So remember, in a neutral atom, we have the same number of protons as we have electrons. The second box, we'll do this one in green, this is its location. So where in the atom is it? Well, the protons, these are in the nucleus. Neutrons are also found in the nucleus. And electrons are in the cloud or in the shells, or the rings, or on the outside, or whichever term you remember from the last chapter. And then finally, we need to know the mass. So what is the mass of one of these atoms? The first, protons, these have a mass of one. Neutrons are the same size, they also have a mass of one. And then electrons have a mass of zero. Okay, so this is a very, I mean, this is chapter two in a nutshell. That's the whole thing right there, pretty much. Uh, and what you need to do now is I'm going to start posting the critical thinking questions next to this video. So if you look over, actually, it'll be that way for you. Look to your right. You're going to see the pictures or see the questions over here on the right side of the page. Do them in this spot here. So I've, I've given you blank space. You don't need to use your paper. And remember, this note packet is going into your portfolio. So do not lose it. And if you lose it, you got to go back and redo it. So hang on to this. If you have questions about any of this review, be sure to ask in class.